All right, fellow uh, Africans, fellow Ghanaians, we are getting tired of the fufu and goat and burying you. Again, the fufu and goat and burying you. Yabre pa, yabre. This morning, you know, after my workout, I just felt like I had to really put this video out. It's so many uh, funerals that are being reported in our community. Right now, I think we are averaging just in the Ghanaian community alone about five funerals in a month of mostly people under the age of 50, all from uh, cardiovascular diseases, all right, heart-related diseases, from heart attack to stroke, uh, diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, basically people just dying. And I mean, the sad part is uh, leaving young children behind, all right? I'm not saying we're not gonna die, but I think we have a responsibility and the communities are, community has been negligent for a very long time. This fufu, banku, a jollof, and all of that is great, but lack of exercise, there is no magical remedy or spiritual remedy, whatever you believe in, that is going to be able to fix this problem. So it's about time we take responsibility, guys. We are dying too young. I just returned from a funeral. We are dying too young. As soon as I returned, two other uh, deaths were reported, all under the age of 50, with very young kids. Please, let's take our health very seriously. Health insurance, medical checkup, life insurance. And the last, the, the sad part is most of the uh, people that are dying have no life insurance. You don't have health insurance, you don't go for medical checkup, you don't have life insurance, you die under the age of 50 and you leave young children behind. Um, for some of us that have been a part of mentoring programs for some time, we've been very involved in some of the children that have been left behind. It is overbearing, we are getting tired, it's about time that we talk about this negligence, okay? We talk about this negligence. Those that are spending two or three hours in church and praying, there is nothing spirit, there is no spiritual remedy to your health. Don't let anybody lie to you about that, okay? You are praying and dying, all right? Take responsibility, exercise, watch what you eat. It's about time that we change our lifestyle because this is becoming alarming. If we have just about averaging about five in the Ghanaian community uh, on a monthly basis, in the African community, we're probably looking at about 30. Okay, this is very serious. I hope someone take this message seriously and change your life. Not for just for yourself, but for your family as well. As well. When I look at, when I go to these funerals, all I'm seeing is the future of these young people. All right? So I hope that this message is taken seriously and let's change our lives. Thank you very much. Okay. Open your eyes that I just could see. Was it before? We be best camera. Not what you mean, I Jenny. A year, Ninia Mohono. We be best camera. Not what you mean, I Jenny, Ninia Mohono. And time see our social media also. Papa, in your message, in Kobet me, Eddie Amo or Nukuan, and in a ma, Eddie Aman and Namfu for. And so, what Timmy Adjene, our Nigerian man who said no, me when we are no more homey Africans are more a year brunini crew, so a bimu air bread. Now, even your coffin real, sir, a number of Muko for me, who are my young quadda, a wetchin, a year it this thing has become a lamina. I was so sad na that day. A video it is to see a man in coffee na all over the world. Say munti e di mi kain na mo fe mo ba. E nyadi e possible. And time is sir. Say be bini be tuni yonko fo say masa. A di we me me huni say be bo amin tunsu ko ebi. And time is it. It's the video ni be coming sano. Ma study video na na me pe man na se mi nyanya na na mbenti akame freno. Because I dear why I say a bonapas why I dear. 
se obi betimi a tena se adwene ho se ade a menua bi e fa mu onya problem no me me nya ho solution me de e ba ma wo sue bi no entensi programs bi se su ye entan she e mani pa no because nipa na wo ka se mo anya aboa ne kwase na jimiti no ye nhye ma no enso de wo ka ne very important a very important ko fu me bre e wu wa bro chire de se mo ka ne de se e serious issue no ka ne simple sir e bi ti mi wu no mo man kitin 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 bo ne ni kuru nyina kra no mo wu enti se mo pa ne ka no ye nya training o fra djuma o ba du fie wa di banku o di o banku no fufu no wa be tie no konto mre no wa kwa no konto mre kwa le se ye o du banku no fufu a homa chi bi a ba tu tre a homa chi na fe no o di banku no o to wa no wada na di chi no asore no sa ko onwini na pomudin ni hu di odwini nyina ye cash o benya send ya ko fie fo nsam eno odwini hu na se woni aho di abede ni wa ye adwuma ni wa ye sika send ya ko fie se woni anko no nkodi eno na papa ikan ho asem wa je wose ye take your health ni very serious a se ye ko bro ni mrofu christian hu di mrofu o moye otimi she bi ya nika na wa fa le kambu no nam na wa ye jogi ni ade ade ye su ni nam ni pebenku ni ayi ayi eh ibi aka di starch ibi ata fre so ati ase ye nyi training bia ti ari ba chibo si e honam ye ya ne se ye ya ne honam ye bra mo bi na di wo gana wo kra se wo ba gana kra na na abusia fo bo ofu wo ro ko dro ne eh na ba ko da ba ba ko wo che ko ne sa ko bra mo mo wo te gana no di sa ka se ti wo so fwo ni paduani ye a very good message a very good message me me ti so kasa me 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 a very good message but me do comment a good video na say as we pana kan me ma shimi me ma shimi pa i hope someone take this message seriously and change their life i right, fellow uh, africans fellow Ghanaians, we are getting tired of the fufu and goat and burying you again the fufu and goat and burying you ya bre pa ya bre this morning you know, after my workout, I just felt like I had to really put this video out. It's so many uh, funerals that are being reported in our community. Right now, I think we are averaging just in the Ghanaian community alone about five funerals in a month of mostly people under the age of 50, all from uh, cardiovascular diseases, all right, heart-related diseases from heart attack to stroke, uh, diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, basically people just dying. And I mean, the sad part is uh, leaving young children behind, all right? I'm not saying we're not gonna die, but I think we have a responsibility and the communities are, community has been negligent for a very long time. This fufu, banku, a jollof and all of that is great. But lack of exercise, there is no magical remedy or spiritual remedy, whatever you believe in, that is going to be able to fix this problem. So it's about time we take responsibility. Guys, we are dying too young. I just returned from a funeral. We are dying too young. As soon as I returned, two other uh, deaths were reported, all under the age of 50 with very young kids. Please, let's take our health very seriously. Health insurance, medical checkup, life insurance. And the last, the, the sad part is most of the uh, people that are dying have no life insurance. You don't have health insurance, you don't go for medical checkup, you don't have life insurance, you die under the age of 50 and you leave young children behind. Um, for some of us that have been a part of mentoring programs for some time, we've been very involved in some of the children that have been left behind. It is overbearing. We are getting tired. It's about time that we talk about this negligence. Okay? We talk about this negligence. Those that are spending two or three hours in church and praying, there is nothing spirit, there is no spiritual remedy to your health. Don't let anybody lie to you about that. Okay? You are praying and dying, all right? 
take responsibility, exercise, watch what you eat. It's about time that we change our lifestyle because this is becoming alarming. If we have just about averaging about five in the Ghanaian community uh, on a monthly basis, in the African community, we're probably looking about 30. Okay, this is very serious. I hope someone take this message seriously and change their life. Not for just for yourself, but for your family as well. As well. When I look at, when I go to these funerals, all I'm seeing is the future of these young people. All right, so I hope that this message is taken seriously and let's change our lives. Thank you very much.